All right, let's go ahead and get started with the Streamlit playlist series working with sidebar and navigation bars. So in this lesson, I'll be showing you how you can use these sidebars, how you can make these kind of the navigation into the sidebar and then how you can obviously how you can close that. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So this is our sample application. We will be following this. But before that, we have to run this file. So I write here streamlit run and then 08 work with sidebar and navigation bars. All right. Now you see that. Let me just refresh this so that it can load here streamlit playlist series working with sidebars and navigation bars. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started building this reference application where I say welcome to home page in our home page and I say in navigation into our sidebar. So I'll write there welcome to navigation. In fact, that would be better there. So you see the difference between a normal page and navigation is that you just need to refer that with ST dot sidebar. So like we do as usual, like ST dot title we have done here, but for the sidebar, you can do that ST dot sidebar and then you can do there the title. So you can write that here. Welcome to sidebar. It's like that. And you just always rerun. Then you will see that welcome to sidebar. You can also drag it here and then you can also, you know, uh, drag it a little bit more. So all these things you can do here. Thereafter, I'm going to create some of the radio buttons here in the sidebar. Again, do remember you can use everything, whatever you used on a standard page in a streamlit. So all those things you can use like creating progress bar, checklist, text, label, etc. Everything you can do. Let me just quickly show you. So you can do the sidebar and then you can show these button. You can do the sidebar and then you can show here the text. You write here, what are you? I'm not saying how are you, I'm showing how, what are you? Okay, so you see there these things, everything you can do there, right? sidebar as text input your feedback you see these things everything you can write it here okay so i'm just quickly comment these things i'm just going to prepare here a radio button so i write here page is equal to st dot sidebar dot radio okay i say that here go to so basically what will happen here in sidebar if I click on about about page will be displayed here on contact contact page will be displayed there. So this is what I'm creating there. Okay, so that you can see from there. I'm just going to close this and this. Okay, so it says that go to and in that go to I create home and thereafter I create here about and thereafter I create here contact. So these are the pages. Now you can see that we have home about contact. So whatever we select here, those will be returned in this page. Now based on this, we can design our main page in a streamlet. So I write here if page equal to equal to home, then you can see that here st dot, uh, you know, subheader welcome to home page you say that else if page equal to equal to about then you say that st dot subheader welcome to about page you can say that else to remember if it is three times only. I, otherwise, you if you just want to make sure that uh, you, if you want to just make sure that 
if you add four uh, variable here even after that this works so in that case you can use if page equal to equal to contact then in that case you can write here st dot subheader welcome to contact page it's like that let me just delete this okay so I selected here home page it says that welcome to home page I select here about page it says that welcome to about page and then I select here contact page it says that welcome to contact page now you can you know design various things in each of these pages like let's say if you are making any dashboard where you want navigation then you can put your design in this home page and similarly you can put your about information here or if you want to provide any kind of information to the users you can do that here all right now if you select here this so whatever design we have learned in our previous lessons all those design you can do here okay let's say if you want to do a little bit more in home page so like I designed this reference one so I just wanted to show you you can uh, you know design uh, one uh, uh, popover as well so the popover is like this it's it, it is shown in collapsed mode but if you click on this then um, it will just expand and then again if you click on this and then it will collapse here so these kind of things if you want to use so those you can also use like with st dot popover you can write here uh, open uh, okay uh, I'm sorry actually I was explaining this so this one is not popover this is expander and here is the popover okay so let's first design this one and then I'll design this expander part so this is the popover so I write here with st dot popover and then I write here open popover okay so I write here st dot markdown and then I say that hello world and then I say that smile all right so in this if you see it here in home page I need to select here a home page just to see that open popover you see that hello world and this is smile is shown there thereafter you can uh, also take input from here so you can say that name st dot text input let's say I write here what's your name thereafter I write here st dot write your name age name I say that Lakshmi Kant I hit the enter now you can see that it is displayed here your name is Lakshmi Kant let's see if you want to design the expander then how you can do so the same concept you can use here st dot uh, expander and thereafter you can use here like uh, click me to learn more and thereafter you can use here st dot write and other information which was shown here so I'm just going to copy this whole information from here so when this expander is useful let's say you have a very large information which is taking a lot of space and you want to save that space then you can use this expander there now I have a very large text data and if I put this large text data so it will be taking a lot of space so I just show it as this so where expander will expand when a user clicks otherwise it will be in a collapsed format okay 
perfect so this is how you can use navigation bar this is how you can use the sidebar and you can do all kind of designing whatever we have learned in our previous lessons those will work perfectly in a main page and in sidebar as well if you have any doubt you can comment below and if you have any question you can also comment below if you have liked this video and the playlist please do like this video and subscribe this channel I would also request you to share it with your friends and social media if possible. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.